Bloomberg, as most enterprises, has been a consumer of open source for many, many years. But within the last few years, it's become vitally important to us because the open source community is now producing uh, software that's better than any other alternative. For, for many use cases, the, the best solution to the problem is actually an open source software product. So when we look to deploy new pieces of infrastructure or solve new problems, we actually now are searching for open source solutions before we look to, to find things or to build things of our own. Um, and that as a result, then we end up contributing back the improvements that we make since we have very unusual use cases in many scenarios. Even outside of just Bloomberg and open source in general, um, collaborative development allows people who care the most about the software's evolution to expend their energy on it. Um, so that doesn't mean that people who are being paid don't also do a great job, but when you have people who are motivated by their own interest in the software be being better, you end up with very, very good software that's produced at a very rapid pace. Recently, the Bloomberg website was launched, uh, relaunched, uh, a brand new version built on a bunch of new technologies, including open source Node.js and other things. And our web development team built a new JavaScript web application framework for that website and others, and was so successful at what they were doing with it that they decided to release it as an open source project of its own. Uh, so we've released that, it's called Brisket, and they've begun talking about it at JavaScript conferences and other places, and it's begun to gain some awareness as well. One of the things we began last year, uh, which we think so far we're the only company that's been doing this, we have sort of combined open source and our philanthropic efforts, and we've been running open source volunteer coding days where we have employees and, uh, and students from universities and people from existing open source project communities come into Bloomberg for a day or a weekend and just sit there, work together on improving the project, uh, which of course increases awareness inside our company and we're giving back, of course, improvements to the code. Um, and that's been extremely successful. We've done that for, I think, three or four open source projects now. And the demand is high enough that we'll probably try to do five or six of them um, in the coming year and, and see if we can even improve more after that.